Today, we're talking about the dreadlift bar. Who invented the dreadlift bar? Probably just some hunk. What is a dreadlift bar? Probably a barbell you dreadlift with, you dingus. How much can you dreadlift? Can you dreadlift as much as Drangus Green? I could if I wanted to. Enough with the jibber jabber, let's check it out. Check it out! This is a standard powerlifting barbell. 29 millimeter diameter, about 86 and a half inches long. This bar has no width. It is considered a stiff bar. It has 51 and a half inches of barbell between each sleeve. Its tensile strength is rated at 205,000 PSI. This is an Ohio power bar. This is a Texas deadlift bar. And this is a California bar. Hey! The Texas deadlift bar is only 27 millimeters in diameter, 90.5 inches long, with 56 inches of barbell between each sleeve. Its tensile strength is rated at about 185,000 PSI. This bar has good width. It bends a lot more than the Ohio Power Bar. This thinner diameter at only 27 millimeters makes the bar easier to grip. A thinner bar, a longer bar, and a bar with more flex means the lifter gets to pull from a higher point before the weight breaks off the floor. The longer barbell places the weight farther out from the center of the bar where you place your hands. If you watch closely, some lifters take advantage of this by using a very narrow grip when they deadlift to create distance between where they pull up on the bar and where weight pulls down on the bar. Longer distance, more bend. If you've ever deadlifted with bumper plates, you might have thought that the weight felt lighter or easier. This is because the bumper plates put the weight further out away from the center of the bar. This kind of explains why strongmen can lift so much weight on the Hummer tire deadlift with an elephant bar, which is just a supersized deadlift bar. Now compare that to a deadlift on an Aleco power bar with no flex and thin calibrated steel plates. And here you thought strongmen were actually strong. Pfft, it's all just an illusion. Now how much does a deadlift bar actually help? We don't know. I think it's impossible to say how much more you can pull on a deadlift bar versus an Ohio power bar, but I will say that it's really not that much. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of a 495 deadlift with a Texas deadlift bar and 495 with an Ohio power bar. As you can see, there's not a huge difference, but I will say that the more weight you have on the bar, the more you can take advantage of a deadlift bar. Meaning, 135 and 225 really just isn't enough weight to actually bend the bar. But with 700 pounds, you can bend the bar a whole lot before the weight actually leaves the ground. As you'll see here, the barbell bends a little bit more as I add weight to the bar. How about some deadlift bar cons? Now this is all just bro physics and speculation, but from my observation, people who pull very explosively or jerk on the bar at the start might find that the initial force into the barbell dissipates because it, that energy is being used to bend the bar and not actually lift the plates off the ground. Also, when weights get really heavy, people tend to vibrate at the knees and hips, and a whippy or bendy deadlift bar kind of amplifies this. It can be difficult to get through that sticking point. 
Personally, when I started using a deadlift bar, I found that it negatively affected my starting position. When I squeeze my chest up, set my back, and pull on an Ohio power bar, I can find a perfect starting position. The deadlift bar allows me to pull a little farther, and I feel like I was starting an inch behind the bar. But with some practice, I think I figured it out. So what's the purpose of this video? I actually just wanted an excuse to say dreadlift bar. It's actually permission for all of you to discredit any respectable amount of weight that's been deadlifted on a deadlift bar. Just simply comment, yeah, well, it's on a deadlift bar. In all seriousness, this video is just a short explanation of what a deadlift bar is and how it actually works. Here in the United States, the USPA and SPF federations use a deadlift bar. And when I shared my recent deadlift PR, I said that I went from a 518 pound deadlift on a deadlift bar to 600 pounds on an Ohio power bar. And some people ask me what the heck that even means. So there's the difference. Thanks for watching and always remember, Tread on time!